session on access workbench tutorials in this session we are going to analyze a bracket for static structure analysis this is how the bracket looks like this is another view of it here you can see i have created the front view top view and side view of this bracket now based on this i am going to model the bracket first using design modeler of ansys workbench and then i am going to analyze it so we will start with static structural the material of this bracket is aluminium so i'll go to engineering data sources general materials i'll choose aluminium alloy project update project i'll go to geometry and right click new design modeler geometry units millimeter xy plane look at i'll go for the first sketch now if you see here i will first use this front view to make the sketch so i'll start with the use of a rectangle i'll give it dimensions say h1 is 60 and b2 is 40 i'll go to constraints and choose symmetry center line and then these two lines so that it comes exactly in the center next i'll go to modify and use fillet I'll change the radius to 7 mm. Just click on the two lines and you will get the fillet made. Next I'll go to draw and I'll draw the two circles that you can see here. So I'll draw the bigger circle and then a smaller one. I'll first give them diameter D3 is say 12 mm and D4 is 3 mm also i will give the distance between the center and the bottom line L5 is say 24 and this dimension is 10 So now I have completed the front view. I'll go to modeling. You can see your sketch one is made. I'll extrude the sketch. Select the sketch one apply. The depth is 10 mm. Let me change this to 4 mm. Now I'm going to go to X Y plane because I want to see the same plane, but I want to make a new sketch over here. Now this sketch will give me this view, the top view. But for that I need to first give a cross section. So a new sketch, sketching. I'll choose rectangle. I'll give this dimension. 4 mm now i'll extrude the sketch say it is 30 mm now it's going from here to this direction so i'll just reverse the direction so i'll change direction to reversed adjacent 
So this becomes the top view. That is what you can see here. Now there are three holes each, like you can see. So I want to select this face and I want to draw the holes. So on this face, I will create a new plane. Let's select this. Create a new plane. Generate. Now on this plane, I want to go for sketching. So I will draw three holes on each side. I will first draw a central line to differentiate between the two sides and I will give it dimension. So the distance between this two lines has to be 30 so that it is exactly at the center. So I can give the rest of the dimensions of the circle. Now we'll go back to draw and select circle. I'll make six circles. And now I'll give it dimensions. Okay, now I will go to constraints and use symmetry. Now I'll give the dimensions here. Okay, so the circles are now made. Now I'll go to extrude. The sketches have got selected. I'll change the direction to reversed. I want to cut material and generate. So you can see the bracket has been made. It looks exactly like the one which we have. Now it's all about this dimension. If I change the dimension, bring it to the corners a bit, it would look like this. So you can just go to sketch 3 and change this dimension to 20. Twenty four. Twenty four. Just click on generate. So this will look like the bracket that we have here. So this is done. Next we will go to model and double click on it. So your bracket is generally fixed like this. So it fixes on the wall in this way. There are screws which can be used to fix this plate. And the load is generally applied on this section. Because this is where you can attach a rod. Or this would be a part of any other machine. So we'll first go to geometry. And change the material to aluminium alloy. Next we'll go to mesh. And change the sizing to fine. Update. Next, I'll go to static structural and select these holes. Okay. 
this I'll fix and on this hole I'm going to insert force. I'll change vector to component and along the x-axis I'm going to apply the load. So this will be downward 500. Next I'll go to solution and insert deformation total. Deformation directional along the x-axis. I also want to see the strain equivalent the stress equivalent stress tool and also fatigue tool to know the life of this object i'll change mean stress theory to goodman theory and i'll insert life and damage now we'll solve So this is the total deformation of the bracket. You can see here the value is 0 0.02 mm. You can animate and check the result. This is how you can see slowly your bracket is going to bend over a period of time. This is the directional deformation over the body. The maximum value is 8.4188 into 10 raised to minus 5 mm. Again, the value is very small. Equivalent strain is 0 0.00088. Again, a very small value. This is the stress generated over the bracket with the 61 megapascal. You can see this is the area where your stress is going to be more. Also, these are the areas where you can see higher values of stress. This end and this end is much safer, the stress is almost zero in these ends. Next we will go to stress tool and the factor of safety can also be seen here. The body is almost safe except for this hole, you can see here there is a bit less factor of safety in these two holes. The life of this bracket is 1 into 10 raised to 8 cycles and it is designed for 1 into 10 raised to 9 cycles which means it is really good and this much amount of load can be safely applied on the bracket and it can be used for a really long time. If you want you can change the material of this bracket to any other material that your project desires and you can also analyze and check the result for it. So I hope you have understood how to analyze a bracket for deformation, stress, strain, its life and factor of safety of the material that is being used. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.